Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome to Mom and Me. Today I'm going to share my meal planning routine with some interesting meal ideas and recipes and above all my new meal planner bundle which will be ready to instantly download from Etsy. It's instant digital download in PDF form and will be available on special discount for next 24 hours only. So grab your copy first. I realized I have been using meal planners all the time and this particular planner is so useful and hence I thought to share the template with you all. For easy access and download of the digital copy, I thought to create an Etsy store as it is a universal platform with easy access but it's not a free platform. So I will be charging a very nominal price for this and for all future planners as Etsy platform is not free for sellers. So this meal planner bundle is a pack of four and it comprises of a weekly, monthly meal planner, a grocery list and a recipe card, which can be used to document your favorite recipes. You can print them as many times as you like and make a file folder for all your favorite recipes, meal plans and related grocery list. I will share more details on how to download it and link to my Etsy store in the comment section and in the description box below. For all my viewers exclusively, I will make a 50% discount code also available in the description box. But it is valid only for next 24 hours. So hurry and download a digital copy which you can print and reuse as many times. Also, I'm thinking to update the store with many more templates like this. Like habit tracker, kids chore tracker, to-do list, monthly planner. Do let me know what type of planners would you like to see. Also, any attribute changes you would like to recommend like color, black and white, low on ink, A4 size or any other size you like. I aim to customize this store as per your needs. So please share your thoughts and recommendations that will be really, really helpful. Also, do not forget to follow the shop and leave a review. There's so many mom and me shops on Etsy. So make sure to follow the link in the description and click on my store. I, uh, the store is called mom and me Dia Rajguru. So let's start with today's meal planning video. One great tip for meal planning in today's video is to take one ingredient and use it for few recipes during the same week, which is the theme for today's meal plan as well. I will take one ingredient and try to share as many meal ideas as I can. So let's get started. First one is yogurt. Yogurt can be so versatile. It can be used to make a side dish or can be combined with veggies to make main dish. It can be enjoyed on its own or as a breakfast or a snack. It can also be used in baking too. Yogurt is a good source of calcium, protein and probiotics. First, let me share a hack to make yogurt at home. In India, I know it's not a big deal to make yogurt at home like homemade yogurt. But outside India, sometimes it can be a failed attempt several times. I myself have tried many times before but I was unsuccessful and now I think I have cracked the code. So let me show you what I do to make homemade yogurt. Firstly, for starter, do not use Greek yogurt but buy yogurt from Indian store. I have found three Indo-Australian brands that work well. Sharma's Kitchen, Chaturas and Sai Shri. Or you can buy the starter online. Take any of the brand, then boil the milk, let it cool down to cooler than lukewarm and then add the starter. If you do not boil the milk and only add the starter to lukewarm milk, which I used to do before, the yogurt will not set which is the number one mistake we normally do. The milk has to be boiled and cooled down for yogurt to set. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. So in the small bowl, the milk was not boiled and in the small tapeli, I had boiled the milk and then set the yogurt and you can see the difference. Another mistake is if the milk is too hot and you add starter to it, the dahi will set but it will be slimy. So if you wonder why your yogurt is always set slimy, well, then you need to reduce the temperature you are setting it at. Once the yogurt is set, you can use it for many, many recipes. One instant one is you can make cucumber raita by adding Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, sugar, 
crushed mustard seeds and grated cucumbers make sure to squeeze out all the water from the cucumber simple roti sabzi we love to make the hee varas too and i try to soak grind and ferment my vara batter in my kitchen aid machine this video is not sponsored but originally yes i did receive this grinder for a sponsored video but since then it's my main go to appliance in my kitchen and i have made my nutri ninja redundant we enjoy eating cold cold dahi vadas on hot hot summer day and this is all we need for lunch another meal idea using yogurt is bhindi kadhi which is a main dish and not a side dish so yogurt can be very versatile it is a great source of essential nutrients but beware of brands that add sugar to yogurt and also do not buy the flavored ones as it is loaded with sugar make your own flavored yogurt at home if you wish to add some flavor to it it's kids favorite too so i try to incorporate it as much as i can in summers there are so many other ways to incorporate yogurt in your diet you can simply top it with berries add to the smoothies or stir it into overnight oats make chaas mango lassi dry fruit lassi etc so if you haven't been eating much of this amazing food start doing it today another ingredient that we all should meal prep for each week is paneer it is power house of nutrients for us vegetarians paneer is like a good source of protein so i try to include it in various forms the amount of recipes that you can make with paneer is countless like countless you can eat it as a snack can add in curries like palak paneer matar paneer you can make chili paneer paneer tikka you can make sandwich wraps salads and so much more i can't even mention all the ideas here but today i will share a yummy paneer laddu recipe well yes it is paneer laddu who could imagine that you can make laddu from paneer and it was quite yummy so let me share the recipe I have made paneer at home for this recipe and I would highly recommend homemade fresh paneer as we will have to knead it for 5 to 7 minutes or until the paneer is very smooth and soft in texture and I think only homemade paneer can do that because outside paneer the the ready made paneers will still be very crumbly so try to use homemade paneer now to this soft paneer I will add desiccated coconut cranberries condensed milk and cardamom powder i have eyeballed all the proportions to be very honest condensed milk to make the laddu sweet enough and dry desiccated powder so that it does absorbs the excess moisture from paneer and the condensed milk you can skip cranberries and add raisins instead if you like it adds nice texture and flavor when you eat I am always on lookout for new and interesting recipes that my kids will enjoy taking to school and that is and the ones that are healthy as well and this one definitely tick the box Now let's look at another ingredient methi or fenugreek leaves a rich source of fiber and antioxidants I love to include methi at least once or twice a week in two different forms One is in the form of shak or sabzi, and another in the form of paratha or dhebra. I usually make methi alu, but have you tried methi and ringan or eggplant combination? It is amazing. So to make it, I roast some garlic, then add eggplant cut into small pieces, then add all the basic masalas, methi leaves, one to two tomatoes, as it helps cut down the bitterness of methi, and voila, the veggie is ready. Serve it with cucumber raita or dahi bundi, and it makes a complete meal. Another thing that comes in very handy is to prep for some methi debra dough in the fridge. I can use it to make parathas for school lunch box, or I can make myself some debras in lunch when I am alone at home. We mothers always tend to eat junk or are lazy to cook for ourselves, so having such little helpers can save our health. I sometimes prep and store methi gota batter and use it to fry some gotas on weekend and enjoy with chai. It's better than grabbing a pack of khari or parle ji, isn't it? The fourth ingredient today is sweet potatoes. We all know that potatoes are great when it comes to meal planning, but have you tried using sweet potatoes instead? 
For the longest period of time, I used to only make sweet potato fries, but it can be used in various forms. You can boil sweet potato and roast it, sprinkle some salt, pepper, chaat masala, lemon juice and enjoy a healthy tea time snack. You can also make sweet potato salad. You can make sweet potato shira, sweet potato parathas, roasted sweet potato with herbs. I think I need to start exploring it more. Peanuts are another ingredient that we can prep in advance. You can roast them and fill them in the jar. You can roast and grind and fill in the jar ready to be used. Now the question is in what ways can peanuts be used? Well, peanuts can be used as a stuffing in veggies like in eggplant or capsicum and other vegetables that you stuff and cook. You can make peanut salad. You can use it in sabudana khichdi. Even peanut butter can be made at home. If you're dieting or in a weight loss journey like I am, then meal prepping for the salads will help you take better and healthy meal choices. If you have already prepped for some types of salads, then it becomes so easy to eat healthy rather than get hungry and then go to the kitchen and think what should I eat and end up grabbing a pack of junk or packet food. There's so many types of salads that I make. Peanut salad, sprout moong salad, Greek salad, avocado salad, black chana salad, paneer salad, chole chana salad. Do let me know if you would like to see a special meal prep and plan video just for healthy vegetarian salads. Please, please let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see that video so that I can add it to my list. So before signing off, let me share one last recipe that my kids love. It's fresh orange juice jelly. I will be using aga aga and not gelatin for this recipe. So to make orange jelly, you need lots and lots of fresh orange juice. Well, I wanted around a liter, but my kids were sitting next to me and they were constantly bringing their glass and were asking for more juice over and over again. And I finally told them, so they spared me half a liter of juice. So now all you have to do is to boil the juice and add sugar to make it sweet because orange juice is sour and sour jelly would not be yummy. So add sweet, um, so add sugar to make it sweet and two teaspoons of aga aga jelly. Boil it for a few minutes and put it in the mold to set. And the jelly is ready. One tip here, if you add too much of aga aga powder, then the jelly becomes very dense and not that jelly jelly type, you know, the one that wiggles. So just bear that in mind. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's meal planning video and the few recipes that I shared. I try not to incorporate all the recipes, otherwise the video would be an hour long and who wants to see that long video? Not me. So I only include the new and interesting recipes, but there are heaps, loads of recipes in my past meal prep videos. I will include all of them in the description box so that you can uh, click any of them and watch other interesting recipes. So please do not forget to hit like on this video, share this video, subscribe to mom and me if you haven't yet and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.